Hey guys, I'm getting a lot of questions on how to buy certain things like Velus. Uh, now this isn't a video on what Velus is, um, so if you want to know what Velus is, there's other videos that I have, or you can find them. I explain what Velus is. They might explain why it's exploding the way it is and why you may actually want to buy it. Uh, but yeah, this is Velus. Um, it's pretty crazy. We're under a billion. We're just almost at a billion dollar market cap, and you can't buy it easily which says a lot. It just means that it has so much room to grow because once people can buy it easily, it's just gonna explode. Uh, it does play well with others. You'll notice there's multiple contracts, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and obviously the native Velis contract. So how do you buy this? Well, the easiest way to buy it is with PancakeSwap. Um, if you know what PancakeSwap is or if you ever purchased anything on PancakeSwap, it's pretty easy. You just Here's the contract, here's your Binance Smart Chain contract. Just copy that. Uh, this is the Binance Smart Chain uh, version of Velus. It's not true Velus, but it does still follow the exact price. So if you just want to buy Velus and hold it, go ahead and buy that. If you want to buy Velus in order to yield farm with it on like Wagyu Swap and earn some stupid yield, uh, then you're going to eventually need to swap your, your BSC Velus for true Velus. Um, that's a whole other video. We're not going to get that far in this video, just how to buy it. So if you know how to do that pancake swap, just do it pancake swap. That should be all I have to say. If you don't know how to use PancakeSwap, um, this is what you need know, to keep watching. So step one for using PancakeSwap to buy any of these obscure tokens or anything you're having a hard time finding is to buy Binance. So you can buy Binance in multiple places. I personally have chosen to purchase Binance through Crypto.com. The reason for that is it's the uh, site I have access to locally with some of the lowest fees that I can find. First off, getting cash into Crypto.com is literally fee-less in that they have a bank account. I literally have a Crypto.com actual bank account with routing and account number that I can ACH transfer money into. When that money goes in there, it loses not a single penny. At that point, I can purchase any cryptocurrency that Crypto.com is offering, including Binance. So you buy Binance, step one. Then you need to send that Binance from Crypto.com to one of two places either a MetaMask wallet or a Trust wallet. I have both, and uh, quite frankly, it doesn't really matter which one you choose if you're not planning on taking it any further. If you're just buying Velus and just chilling with it, uh, it doesn't matter. If you wanna buy Velus and then do other things with it, like convert it to the Velus native token and then yield farm with it or stake it or do anything fancy like that, you're gonna wanna get a MetaMask. Um, so this is probably the better choice. If you don't want to get all fancy with it, if you're just like, I just need to buy some fellas, that's all I want to do, maybe just get the Trust Wallet, just because I do think it is a little more user-friendly. So step one, figure out which one of those two you want to buy. So let's just say, theoretically, you've got a MetaMask wallet. At that point, you're going to get a wallet, you're going to download it, uh, you're, going to get a, you're going to create your own wallet, and you're going to have a wallet address. All you got to do is send that Binance that you purchased on Crypto.com or wherever you bought it. By the way, if you don't have Crypto.com, I'm going to post a link down below to get you a free $25 bonus. Uh, then I'll also get $25, which is like a super thumbs up, smash like, subscribe, all combined at once with an extra 25 bucks on top. So go ahead. <laughs> um, then we both get. So go for it. Um, so send your Binance to your MetaMask wallet. At that point, you will have Binance in your MetaMask wallet. All right. Now you've got the Binance off of Crypto.com into your MetaMask wallet. How do you buy Bellis? Well, you're actually gonna trade Velus. You're gonna trade Binance for Velus through PancakeSwap. So PancakeSwap.finance is this nice nifty little website where you can connect your MetaMask wallet. So I'm gonna disconnect my wallet just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and you can have multiple MetaMask wallets. This one I've connected is kind of just a, a wallet to show you guys how things work. It doesn't have much money on it. Um, but you would just, uh, after installing MetaMask, and adding it, I have it added as a Chrome extension. Uh, you can click Connect Wallet. At this point, you have a few options. So you have those, either the Trust Wallet or the MetaMask. Uh, in this case, we're gonna connect the MetaMask. You just click Connect, and then it's gonna pop up a little screen that you can't see, asking me to verify the connection and whatnot. Uh, now that it's connected, you're gonna wanna trade. So you can click Trade Now, and you're gonna have BNB at the top. So that Binance that you've transferred your MetaMask should set, show right here at your balance. And then you're gonna need to select a currency. You need to find Velus. Now mine's already been added, but I'll show you how you add it if you didn't add already have it. So you go to back to your coin market cap, and you'll see the contracts. 
and just click on more and find the one that says Binance Smart Chain and you can copy it with these little two squares. When you click those two squares, you'll notice the top center it says copied. And you can go back here and you can just paste the address in here. When you paste the address in here, it's going to show a VLX added by user. Uh, mine doesn't say, yours won't say added by user. Mine will say that because I added it earlier. Um, when you click on it, it's going to ask, are you sure you want to add this? Anyone can create a token. Yeah, that's the one. Go ahead and add it. At this point, you'll see BNB at the top, VLX at the bottom, and a slippage may or may not say 1%. You can change this right here with the little cog wheel. There's a few options. You can change it from standard fast to instant on speed. I like standard because it's the cheapest. And then your slippage tolerance. I just put mine at 1%. It'll probably work at lower tolerances, but especially if the market's kind of volatile, I just throw 1% um, and make sure the transfer is actually going to occur. Put the amount of Binance you want to trade. So like if you want to trade one Binance or two Binance or whatever, or your max amount, whatever it is you want to trade, put that in there. And then it'll, um, then you push the green button to do it and then it'll pop up in your MetaMask asking you to confirm it and pay the, the Binance gas fee. You have to hold Binance in your MetaMask wallet in order to pay the gas fees for exchanges. It's usually a, a dollar or two. It's not very expensive. But that's it. Once you swap it, you have Velis in your MetaMask wallet, and then you can hop over here to the coin market cap every day and be like, how much money did I make today? Or how much money did I lose today? Hopefully not. Um, I'm really hoping this goes down so I can buy some more, but I'm starting to think it's not going to. I'm starting to think we're just on a rip and it's just gonna keep going. Um, this chart looks freaking like it's about to go like on a rocket ship. Uh, what do you think? And what else do you own? What else should I keep my eye on? Any crazy projects like this that I can catch a little earlier, uh, let me know.